Hey guys, good morning. Uh, welcome back to No Cage Thing. It's me, Ella. Today is Saturday, April 25th. <laughs> I just finished doing my morning yoga, so I'm a little tired. Today's yoga was a high intensity interval training <laughs> yoga. And woo, yeah, I'm going to be paying for it later. My legs are already shaking. <laughs> but I wanted to hop on her fast. I haven't made a video in a few days um, other than a bag video because I was busy sewing a whole lot <laughs> and so now I'm going to try to make some more videos before April's over for VEDA so I'm going to start right now <laughs> I got a box in the mail yesterday and I wasn't expecting it at all um, I thought maybe I accidentally ordered something and forgot about it because it was from Joann's and I was trying to think because I was recently on Joann's website looking at thread and fabric and stuff and um, I was like, oh my gosh, did I order something and completely forget about it? But I didn't. Someone else ordered something for me and sent it to me. And uh, I'm not sure who sent it. It just came with a little invoice thingy. And it has a gift message on it that says, just wanted to send you some much needed cotton yarn. Enjoy. It came in a big old box, which is awesome because um, I needed a box. So it, it worked out perfectly. <laughs> but this is what they sent me, some cotton yarn. And I was so happy because I actually needed cotton yarn. I had had a bunch gifted to me, hmm, maybe mid last year, uh, late last year maybe, I don't know. I had some cotton yarn gifted to me, but I went through it really quickly because I was making stuff for other people. And, um, you know, I like working with cotton yarn. I like making dishcloths and uh, things like that. Bag holder right there, that's made out of acrylic. But I'll, and um, market bags, which there's one hanging behind that, you just can't see it. I love making stuff like that, and I love using making reusable things. So I was wanting to make some more cotton-related things, market bags, and um, a thing that you put on the end of a wooden spoon so you can clean out bottles, like water bottles. Snappy Tots has a pattern for that, and if I can remember, I'll link it below. And I want to make it, so... But I didn't have any more of this kind of cotton, the kitchen cotton that is, like, four-weight. I have a bunch of fine cotton that was gifted to me, but it's more for something like you would make a wearable. So, um, I had just used up the rest of this cotton that I have on a market bag I taken over here that I showed recently, a blue one. So, anyways, they gifted me this, and I wish I knew who it was. So, if you are the one who gifted me this, please let me know. Uh, email me or something if you want to stay anonymous to other people. Or if you just want to stay anonymous, that's okay. <laughs> I do appreciate it, and uh, I will definitely be using it. I'm probably going to start using some of it today. Oh, a bird. <laughs> I'm going to show you, though, real quick. The colors so it's all sugar and cream which I don't even know if I've ever had sugar and cream I've had plenty of the um, peaches and cream or whatever it's called from Walmart and I had um, some brunette and some olive cotton but it's this is um, a solid she sent she or he whoever it was <laughs> they I should say they they sent uh, five solids and seven multicolors this one is called rose pink and all the solids are 200 yards each. This one is beautiful. This is called, what is this called? Beach glass. So it's a pretty, like, um, mint color almost. This one, Devin said, was his favorite. <laughs> it is uh, blue jeans. And when I saw it, I actually said, I bet that one's called denim or something. But it, it was blue jeans, but it's the same thing. <laughs> this one's just called yellow. And this one's cream. I remember this one. It's a really pretty cream color. It's blown out. I got the windows open. <laughs> And then the variegated ones. This one is called Potpourri. It's got some different colors mixed in with like a cream color base. This one is Crown Jewels. Ombre. Crown Jewels Ombre. <laughs> this one is Summer Prints. This one has something to do with the beach too. Yeah. Pebble Beach Ombre. I love all of these. They're all so pretty. Uh, Coral Seas Ombre. <laughs> Sunkissed. And this is my favorite one out of all of them. I love them all. This I just love these colors. This one's called Over the Rainbow. And all these variegated ones are 150 yards each. So that's awesome. All these beautiful cotton yarns that I can now make things with. So thank you so much to whoever sent those to me. And I do appreciate it. <laughs> And uh, I'm also glad I got the box because the box is huge. It came in a big old box. Big box. <laughs> it had a bunch of that paper in there, you know, to keep them from being all moving around. And uh, I'm needing boxes because 
I'm cleaning our whole house while we're on um, stay at home and I'm finding stuff that I want to donate after all this is over because all the thrift stores around me aren't taking donations right now I imagine they would be overflowing with them if they were um, so I'm packing everything up in boxes and stacking them up so that as soon as all this is over and things get back to normal I can just take them and drop them off I got a feeling that the thrift stores are gonna be really getting a lot of neat stuff um, after this is over because I imagine so many people are going through their homes and cleaning them it might be a good time to thrift shop after all this is over with but yeah so I got all my beautiful cotton yarn I do have some market bags I've been wanting to make and um, some more dishcloths and stuff like that I have a ton of dishcloths um, I really don't think I need any more right now until some of mine start wearing out but they're so fun to make because it's easy to just grab one of these and a hook and in a little project bag and carry it with you you know when I go out and about to places or um, you know visiting my in-laws or something and uh, just whip up a, a cloth and then uh, you know have it done <laughs> but yeah so I got all these beautiful cottons I'm just gonna leave them right there so I can keep looking at them <laughs> and then eventually I'll put them up I didn't want to show some bags that are still in the shop in case anyone's interested I got them all laid out right here so I might as well show them these are the crab bags. This is a hook size one. It's seven inches from here to here. I don't count the part where the fixture is. So anything seven inches or shorter will fit in here. And you just squeeze them to open them. So there's two hook size ones left. And then there is four notion sizes. I can't remember how long they are. I think they're five inches maybe. Four and a half, four and a half. So there's two lemon ones, one with chickens on tractors with yarn. I just threw one. And this one's got dogs on it. Those are still in the shop. And then as far as project bags, there are two of these ones that have Mickey Mouse um, face shapes. They're wrinkled because I have them folded up. <laughs> um, and I think these, yeah, these ones are pretty like checkered stuff in the inside and then there are two of these motorcycle ones left because one of those is reserved for somebody just a motorcycle print and these have different insides like some of them are black and I think one of them is like a blue genie looking I was just going through my stash and using up everything I had <laughs> there are three of these uh, purple skulls with hearts and like camouflage in the background and again I think they're just they all have different shades of different types of purple in liners so I had a bunch of little pieces of purple so I used them up for um, these bags and then there's this one that is a walking dead zombie <laughs> one I love this show if no one buys this I'll just keep this for myself because I love walking dead and there are three right one two three of this print this is really pretty I think this is a different material this isn't cotton I'm not sure what this is it was a scrap piece that was given to me and it is uh it feels nice and it's got these really pretty flowers this one's got mushrooms on the inside <laughs> and then the other ones have little flowers just a little floral print and then there are three of these ones I think this is cool I love this big purple leaf <laughs> And there are butterflies too. Right there's one. There's one. There's the other side. And that one's got blue inside. What's this other one? That one's got blue, and then this other one has a star inside. So, yeah, so those are the bags that's left in the shop right now. I am wanting to make more bags for the shop, but I'm having a really hard time getting fabric. <laughs> I love being able to pick up my own fabric, you know, by touching it and just seeing what it actually looks like in person but I'm not able to do that right now because um, you know all the stores are either closed or they're limiting people and you know I just don't feel 100% safe going into them anyways so I did try to go to Joann's yesterday and it's a 45 minute drive for me there's two that are both 45 minutes for me but they're in slightly different directions I, one of them was closed completely they're only doing curbside the other one was open shorter hours limiting to 10 people but when I got there and I drove there <laughs> Um, there was like 40 people standing outside and a lot of them had kids and stuff with them and that just made me feel super uncomfortable because I don't think now is the time for the whole family to go shopping when um, when all this is going on you know Jesse hasn't been to any public place um, since sometime in March <laughs> probably six weeks ago and 
I just don't understand why people are taking their kids out. I know that some people have to, but some of these people I see have multiple adults and kids. So one adult could stay with the kid. <laughs> That's how me and Devin do it. Uh, when me or Devin goes to the store and the other one either stays home with Jesse or we stay in the car with Jesse. Um, because, you know, we're trying to limit his exposure for sure. And I know it's to the point now of this where pretty much if you're going to get it, you're going to get it no matter what you do. Because even PPE isn't 100% protective. But um, we're still just trying to be as cautious as we can be, you know. Because even if it only helps 50%, it'll still help, you know, 50% and halfway. <laughs> But, uh, so I am, I'm looking online at some websites, because joannes.com, you can do, um, curbside pickup or, like, delivery, but they, they, um, you have to order at least two yards of most fabric, but right now, most of it's actually sold out, and the curbside one, for sure, because it's this fabric that they have in store, not in a warehouse somewhere, and people's already picked it over, you know, and, uh, so I, I'm trying to find more people like me, like Etsy shop owners who are just moms at home trying to make money so they're selling fabric in the way I sell bags. So I'm trying to find more shops like that that I can start ordering fabric and interfacing and zippers and all that kind of stuff for them so that my money's not going to a big corporation. It's going to another family who needs money right now. So um, that's what I've been doing. I've been trying to find a lot of Etsy shops that have good uh, reviews and good shipping times and or local to me. I always look in Tennessee first um, on Etsy because you can change it to where you look for shops by location. So I always, always type in Tennessee first to see if there's any super local people. And then I just go ahead and do the United States one because I just, I'm trying to keep the money for the local economies and to help more families like me and Devin and Jesse, you know, just trying to do our hobbies to earn some extra money for our families. So I have found a few shops that I might be ordering from soon. And the only problem with that is it'll be coming you know, different days and different times. So the next bag update might be <laughs> a few weeks into May. Um, I did find a good zipper source. <laughs> so I'm going to be um, ordering some zippers from them and they have relatively low shipping. So it should uh, come quickly. Uh, low shipping time is what I mean. And then I found a couple websites for fabric that are local and by local I mean US. <laughs> and um, so hopefully I can get some more bags to go in. I do got a couple bags here that I've cut out. <laughs> that I completely forgot I was supposed to make a couple bags for someone. They sent me um, the fixtures and it just slipped my mind. So she met, she messaged me in a nice way. She wasn't mean or nothing. She was very sweet about it. So I got them all cut and ready. I just got to get the sewing machine back out. Because <laughs> after I finished these bags, I cleaned my, my sewing machine really good and put it up on the shelf and everything. So I thought I was going to be done for a few weeks. And then I was like, oh, dang it. Because now i got to make these. But that's okay. These, these actually work up super duper fast. These crab bags. Um, I usually make, I don't know, maybe, um, six or seven in an hour, and that's a lot, you know, that's like, I make this many <laughs> in an hour, and, uh, so it doesn't take long at all. The longest part usually is, uh, ironing the interfacing onto the bag. I hate that part, because it's just annoying. But yeah, so, today, I, I mean, not today, but lately, this last week or so, I haven't crocheted much at all. I did work on my witch thumb. And I'll show that to you later if I can remember to do that. I was wanting to start a, a um, market bag before this cotton came. I have that rainbow cotton I showed a few videos ago. It's still in a project bag waiting. I wanted to make a project bag out of that. So I need to figure out what to make <laughs> with these cottons. Um, I know I don't have to use them all right away, but I do want to use some of them. <laughs> it's like when you get something new, you want to use it. So um, I'm going to find something to make with something. One of those at least. I really like this color, this pink color. I think it's so pretty but um yeah i want to finish the witch up i have a pattern that i have pretty much designed all i gotta do is finish making it and take pictures of it get that up and in the shop and then i'd like to get my christmas tree skirt that's a whip <laughs> a high running whip and work on it because i think it'd make me happy i love christmas and i'm, I'm trying to think ahead of better things to get out of this slump of now <laughs> And Christmas is one thing I've been focusing a lot on lately. I've been thinking about our Christmas this year. And I was even listening to Christmas music while sewing <laughs> these bags. So these bags might have a little bit of Christmas juju if you order them. And you feel Christmassy when you get them. That might be why. <laughs> I was listening to Christmas music and singing along with it while sewing them. But, uh, yeah, I just want to keep trying to be chill. I've been doing yoga every day for six days. I started a 30-day challenge. And it's a little difficult. And what made it really difficult is I... You know, I'm a girl, <laughs> so I have a thing that happens every month. 
the day after I started my yoga challenge, that started. So that made it hard because I didn't feel like getting up early and doing it. I have to get up early to do it because Jesse's, you know, here. So I have to get up in the morning and do it. But it's, it's peaceful that way, you know, because I can open the window and hear my birds and do my yoga and I can be all rested and better. There's a house sparrow outside right now. I see it. They're so cute. <laughs> I'm learning so much about birds. <laughs> uh, me and Devin both become obsessed with it, with birds, because of quarantine, I guess. Well, I've, I've always liked birds, but I've gotten better at it. I actually ordered two bird watching books for um, the Eastern United States um, thrift books. <laughs> and hopefully they come. I hate when you order from them and then they, they send you an email saying they can't find the book that you ordered. That happens to me all the time. And it makes me sad because I wanted it so bad. But um, anyways, I got sidetracked. I was talking about yoga. It's been six days in a row and it's been good. Been a little sore because I used to do yoga all the time years ago, like eight years ago. And um, so my body's trying to get back into it. And it's a little tiresome, you know, the woman who's doing it is a lot better shape than me. But, um, you know, the only way you're going to get better at it is if you keep doing it. <laughs> and you're never going to get better at it if you stop. So, um, yeah, I'm just trucking along. I'm feeling great. Uh, during this 30-day challenge, we have to keep journals. Well, we don't have to, but she suggests it. And so I've been keeping just a little journal, you know, writing about the workout and how I feel and all that. So I think that'll be neat to look back on. I took photos the first day so that I can compare them to the 30th day cause for fun, you know. And, um, yeah. It's been great. <laughs> I've been talking a lot, but I haven't caught for you guys in forever. So I'm catching up with you guys. I want to get some crocheting in because I feel like I haven't crocheted much at all. The witch, I finished her legs and I made her boots. That's everything that I did since last time. I was just about to start the hat um, yesterday, and I got sidetracked. I was doing my Etsy orders. You know, it takes a lot of work to actually get them packaged and the thank you notes written and the things printed and stuck on there and all that stuff. And um, time just slipped away. I never got a chance to sit down. And it's black yarn, so I need, like, good lighting <laughs> to do it. So, yeah, I don't know what I'll do today. Today's Saturday. Devin is home. Uh, it's supposed to rain all day, though, so there's no chance we're going to get to go anywhere and play <laughs> and um, our our city has opened up our actual our county has opened up which is scary <laughs> I'm a little scared of that I feel like that's gonna make the cases get worse because I think oh, saying that the city is open and stores are opening and stuff I think it's gonna give people false hope that it's better so they're gonna be less careful so um, I told Devin that me and him's gonna be even more careful now because of this because you know I don't want to be beside someone who's being super careless and us end up getting sick with it but um so we'll have to wait and see how that turns out and then our state tennessee is starting opening monday the 27th which is monty Devin's anniversary <laughs> um they're gonna start opening was it i think it was restaurants on monday and then wednesday retail stores are gonna open back up they are opening to 50 percent capacity but it's still scary because it's still a lot of people. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we'll deal with it, I guess. So, Monday is mine and Devin's first wedding anniversary. We've been together for seven years, but we've only been married for one year. And our anniversary is on a Monday and during quarantine. <laughs> Devin has to work. He has to work 12 hours that day. So, I'll get to see him for about an hour on our anniversary. <laughs> and then next Friday is Jesse's fourth birthday. <laughs> I can't believe that. We are going to have a tiny get-together, and I know a lot of people are going to go crazy about this, but it's literally going to be my in-laws and us, and possibly my mom. And it's only because we've all been around each other this whole time anyways. I can't stay away from my mom for a long period of time because she needs us to do stuff for her. And my in-laws, we had to go around during the tornado, so we're all exposed to each other anyways. They are, they're working, well, my father-in-law is not working right now, and my mother-in-law is working from home. She works, she has a job where she can stay home. So she's been home, she told me that she's been home pretty much the whole time. She, like, never leaves. They do grocery pickup and everything, so um, they're just as exposed as we are. So I know some people are going to be like, oh, don't expose Jesse to people, but we can't stay in our houses forever. And they're saying this could last up to two years before a vaccine is done, and social distancing is going to have to last that long. And, you know, there's, we can't just do that. <laughs> I will go crazy if I can't be around people that long. My people. I don't, you know, different with strangers and shopping and stuff. I can stay away from that. But I need my people. <laughs> I have mental health issues. I need my people around me. 
But um, anyways, that's sidetracked. We're going to do that this weekend, this coming weekend, if it's not raining. So it'll be the day after his birthday or the day after that. Depends on Devin's working schedule. Um, that's another thing about us being exposed. Devin's still working with people. So, you know, he has just a good chance of bringing it home to us from work as we do getting it at our in-laws. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> it's stressful. That's why I started doing yoga again because it used to make me feel so awesome. And I'm trying to get back there. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, that's a long jibber jibber jabber. Jesse's birthday is that day. My birthday is the week after that. It's the 7th of May. I think it's a Thursday. It's not going to be that fun. <laughs> but as long as me and Devin and Jesse are together, we'll probably get to see Devin a little bit that day. Hopefully he won't have to work at 12. <laughs> His company is supposed to be opening back up. To all the people who laid off the 5th of May. Some of them. They're going to like bring them in in waves, I think is what they said. So, it's going to be interesting. Birthday and anniversary and birthday for Jesse. I already got all of Jesse's gifts except one, but it's a digital download. So, I'm just going to download it. And it's a game for his Switch. He has a Switch, which is a handheld gaming system that he loves. And we're going to get him a Mario game for it. Um, I wanted to get him another controller, but I can't. Our Walmart was sold out of them, and uh, I procrastinated ordering one, so I don't know if I can order one and get it here in time. So, yeah, I got him a board game and some toys and a Captain America thing that goes in your arm and it shoots the shield. <laughs> I might regret buying that one, but, uh, oh well. He wanted some tools. He said he wanted some little boy tools, but I'm having a hard time finding any. <laughs> we had him some last year, but they were real tools that were just little. And we had to get rid of them fast because he was hitting things with a little hammer and stuff. But yeah, I babbled for like 22 minutes. I need to go ahead and head off here. I doubt some of you guys even watched this far. <laughs> but uh, I will try to pop in later and show you the witch. I'd like to get done, get some more done on her today. All I have left to crochet is her hat. And so her body and all that together do her facial features, her hair. And she has a few accessories, a little purse, I think. And, uh... Something else. I don't know if I'll make those. I'll just have to finish her and then see what I think. <laughs> and then I can go on with the rest of my wreath. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hop off because I've been jabbering. But it's because I haven't caught up with you guys in forever. <laughs> so yeah. Bye, I guess, for now. Hey guys, I wanted to hop back on. It is later in the day. <laughs> I got laundry going and Devin's watching TV in the living room, so it's loud. But I wanted to hop on and show you what I got other witch done so far. I worked on her some more today. I'm almost done with her parts and then I just got to assemble her. But here's her... Um, body <laughs> that's the front and back of her she's gonna be sewn together Ugh, sorry i won't lay flat <laughs> like that basically <laughs> and then i did finish her legs and her boots they got a lot of strings hanging from them because i got to finish sewing them closed and put the little tie on them and then her arms which i did show you guys already i finished her little hat <laughs> And this is going to be her skirt that goes under her body, kind of like a lovey. So all I have left to make is the buckle for her hat, um, stitch on her face, and sew her all together. <laughs> and uh, put the little tie on her boot, and then crochet her hair. Now in the pattern, she's got a crocheted version of hair, and also just like string hair. I think I might do the crochet version, because it's like curly hair. I don't know, I have to look at it. But uh, then I'm going to, I think I'll stop there because I'm not going to do her little accessories because I'm going to decorate the wreath other ways. Um, it does have a little spider pattern that I might make a couple to put on the wreath or hang from the wreath maybe. I don't know, I haven't got that far. But I'm going to go back in there and edit this video and get it up and I'm going to sit there and work on my witch and hopefully I can get it done soon. And um, get some laundry done tonight. It's a little late. I started it late but I want to get it um, at least in the dryer before I go to bed. <laughs> And, yeah, I will try to film some more tomorrow. It's going to rain a lot, so we'll probably be home a lot, <laughs> which is fine with me. Um, I, did, I would like to get out and try to run outside if the rain lets me. Because Devin and Jesse can, you know, play in the grass or something down at the track, and I can just run. <laughs> um, but I don't really know how bad it's going to rain. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you the witch. I love her little skirt. Actually, there's one row I didn't do on the skirt. Because I was running out of yarn. This green, I used all that I had left. There was one more row, and it was just um, single crochets, I'm pretty sure, all the way around. So I just omitted that. <laughs> it's fine. It don't matter. <laughs> but uh, I will show you guys her.
finished in the next No Catch Your Name episode. And maybe in another VEDA if I get her done in the next few days. Today is the 25th, so I have a few more days. <laughs> but if not, um, you'll see her in the next No Catch Your Name episode. I guess that's all for today. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.